The coronavirus pandemic is not over. That's the warning from medical experts after Miami-Dade County Commission Chairman Jose Pepe Diaz and his chief of staff announced they tested positive for COVID-19. Both of them say they were fully vaccinated. The commission chairman went to Jackson Memorial Hospital for treatment today because of breathing issues. CBS Force Francis Wang has more on what happened and what we can all learn from their diagnosis. Unfortunately, uh our chairman of the county commission, Pepe Diaz, and his chief of staff have tested positive for COVID, although they were both vaccinated. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava addressing the recent news of Chairman Jose Pepe Diaz's positive COVID test. Diaz has been part of the group of local and state officials attending the regular briefings on the Surfside building collapse. According to Diaz's office, he and his chief of staff felt flu-like symptoms starting Sunday. CBS 4 News has confirmed Diaz was having issues breathing and has since been taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. He will be properly managed and properly treated to reduce his risk of any further progression of his illness. It's a reminder, says Dr. Eileen Marty, FIU's infectious disease expert. People need to understand that, unfortunately, this horrific pandemic is not over much as we all wish it were. Here in Florida, the Delta variant is quickly growing in presence. According to the Florida Department of Health, the COVID-19 positivity rate has jumped back up to 7.8 percent. The Delta variant accounting for 13.2 percent of cases in Florida last week. Vaccination rates not high enough for herd immunity. Relative to many states in the United States, uh, the, the rate of vaccination in Florida is not where it needs to be. We don't have the percent of people who are protected that we need to have. Even with vaccinations, Dr. Marty emphasizes taking as many health measures as possible is still the best way, like continuing to wear masks. Every single public health measure that exists, including vaccines, is imperfect. There's always a possibility that you can have breakthrough um, from any public health measures. Francis Wang, CBS 4 News. The Washington Monument is reopening Wednesday after being closed since January because of the pandemic. Masks will still be required for all visitors, regardless of vaccination status. Visitors will only be able to buy tickets online. The monument initially closed in March of 2020. 